from. We're going to come back to this question, I'm sure, more than once. This is a huge question. But what I want to say to this question is don't be fooled into thinking that it is only Christians and it's only the Bible that has to answer this question. Whoever you are and whoever your friend is, every perspective, whether they're not a Christian, whether they're an atheist, a Buddhist, a Muslim, whoever they are, every worldview needs to grapple with this question. And so when we look at the Christian answer, I think it's important to lay it alongside what some of the alternatives are. What does atheism answer to this question? Well, Dawkins tells us there's nothing but blind, pitiless indifference. There is no good. There is no evil. There's nothing but blind, pitiless indifference. DNA neither knows nor cares. DNA just is. In other words, the question of evil, the question of suffering is a shrug of the shoulders. It doesn't matter. You can't answer it. There are no, there are no things that are actually evil, no things that are actually good. It's all just personally your own moral story. Or within Islam, which will tell us that God is in control of everything. God is the puppet master who pulls the strings of um, reality. He determines everything, so when evil things happen, he's made them happen. When good things happen, he's made them happen. Or within Buddhism, where we're told that there is this suffering in the world, and the answer to that is to suppress what the Buddhists will call tanha, which means desire. So we observe suffering in the world, but the cause of suffering is having any desire, any wish for anything. And if you can suppress that and become emotionless and not want anything and not care about anything, then that's the answer to suffering. So within that um, range of alternatives, we see the Christian view that the world was created good, that suffering and evil are an outrage, that when someone dies, it's right and explicable that we feel sorrow, anger, outrage when bad things happen. Because the world was created good, evil is an outrage. But it has come into the world as a consequence of human choices.